campus, and you could get like four or 500 people in there, and if you get a bunch of people in there, it used to be that the free church said, wow, that's a really special church. But then, later on they realized some really big churches are actually unhealthy. There's gossip, there's slander, politics, just like little churches. So what's a better, more biblical way to do things? And that is to do what Jesus said, to go out and make disciples, to multiply ministries, to equip people for works of service, like Ephesians 4. And so uh, whatever ministry you lead, train your successor, train someone else to do what you do, because then the ministry inside can expand, and we can plant more stuff. And so uh, two years ago, all of a sudden, God began to bring a bunch of people here who wanted to be trained, and we were ready and had kind of a pathway that they could be trained in. And you too, as God leads, you can jump into this pathway and get as much Christian education and challenging experiences to grow in your faith as you want. It's here at Faith Free Stanley, of all places. And so a number of people jumped into the path uh, we commissioned Brian Cole to be a senior pastor. He started from showing up at my door knocking and saying, train me, and, you know, started with very little knowledge and skill. And then there's some others, uh, like uh, Dave and, and others, who basically were sitting on the bench because they were shut out. People were jealous of them, and there was just some stupid things going on, and we don't have a bench here. You get to just get in the game. And so even on Sunday morning, we dare to share the pulpit. And, uh, you know, if there's more than one preacher, they won't be on the bench. I don't have an ego that big. I learned a long time ago that's unhealthy for me and for a church. And so if you know how to preach, you'll get to preach. If you know how to teach, you'll be in the rotation. You get to break into ministry. And so we equipped a bunch of leaders. And then I thought, well, God, now what are you going to do? And then he birthed this idea of planting more campuses. So rather than trying to grow one church in a small city to big numbers, for a number of reasons that's kind of untenable, uh, the idea of multiplication came up in multiple campuses. And so I began to pray about this a couple of years ago, and the elders were right on the same page, and we talked about this all along, and we were really excited, and I started to make some moves of, of uh, planting in the Eau Claire area, and Dave was doing the same thing. Only he didn't have like a home, a place to land, like a denomination or church to land with, and someone just encourage him and coach him, because he's got all the talent, all the skills. He can preach, he can teach. Man, he's, he's such a, an amazing shepherd. Wow. And uh, so one day when he was driving away after we had a conversation, I said, "Oh my word, that's the guy! Come back here!" <laughs> <You know? laughs> I don't know why it took me so long to realize when we're both trying to do the same thing. Uh, so I'm just a little slow on a trigger sometimes. But uh, anyway, God worked it out. And uh, so we started exploring this, uh, what is it, about three or four months ago? <coughs> Maybe four months ago. And uh, lo and behold, a number of people um, started to uh, be led by the Spirit of God to, uh, to jump in to what will be called the REACH Campus. And uh, so it's one church. So if there's like 140 people here on a Sunday, let, we don't really worry about it, Sunday attendance so much as we're, we're counting disciples made. But let's say there's 140 here and 100 over there. That means that, uh, that our church had like 240 people attend that week. It's one church. And so the, one of the first things we're going to do is uh, offer a membership track. And so it's the same track we use here. It'll be called some snappy name, like Welcome to Reach or something. But it's the same stuff we go through because it's one church. And so, um, uh, so one church, multiple campuses. Uh, we may have found a room to meet in for the Kadat campus. So uh, that's another story. Uh, I'll tell you about that in a couple of months, but we better focus on on this first, uh, but some things are breaking, and it's all because of God. If God gives favor, something happens. If he doesn't, don't waste your time. <laughs> you know, it's like pushing a roll. It doesn't work. So with that said, we have a team, a core team of leaders for this campus, and so the lead team, Mark Donnelly and Dave and Eric the Red. Oh, sorry. So why don't you guys come up here? And I just want to introduce you to the lead team for the Reach Campus. 
No. <laughs> now these, uh, Dave and Eric and I meet in our other office, which is the back table of uh, Subway and Kadat, like for two hours every week. And so know that if you're leading a ministry team or an effort or something, I'm in all the way, and I'm going to pour into that wherever God is at work. I'm pouring into you. I've got time for you if you've got time for Jesus. And so I'm trying to pour into them, even if it's just encouraging and maybe getting an outside perspective of different decisions and stuff and then sharing whatever experience I can. But um, these are men of God. These are as godly a man you'll ever meet. Uh, Mark Donnelly has been serving the poor and started the gospel mission, and uh, he won't brag about it, but we, we will. Um, and so he has a heart for the homeless. He could just focus on his business endeavors, and he's a successful businessman. I got to tour his pizza factory, and boy, is that fun, um, <laughs> and lead a Bible study there. So he's got the work as worship thing down pat. Um, but uh, thank you for your love for the poor. Thank you, Mark. Yes, amen. Mm. And uh, uh, then, uh, of course, you know Dave. He's been here. Uh, we've been sharing the pulpit, and he, you had a chance to get to know him. He's going to be the preaching pastor at the REACH campus in Eau Claire. And for obvious reasons, he's gifted in this area. You know that. You've seen that. And uh, so um, all we're doing is just naming what God already did, you know, that this man is called to be a preacher of the gospel. We acknowledge that. Eric has a servant's heart. This brother is a humble servant of God. He's like the utility infielder. And, um, you know, the, the stuff that, that he and his wife uh, and his family have done to serve people behind the scenes, God knows. God knows. And those of you who know him, that you know too. That if you need something um, and he has it, you're not going to be without it. They love Jesus, they love the poor, they have a merciful heart toward others, a servant's heart, and uh, this is a guy who's there when you have issues. And so what a great blend of talent that the Lord brought together for this campus. So thank you, brothers, for... Um, I would, uh, would like to call the elders uh, up to pray for you guys. And uh, we're going to have a track for them. They're, they're a lot, lot of the way through uh, some of the track that we have to become elders. But a couple of these guys are going to be elders of our one church. And so elder meetings in the future might include a few people from the REACH campus and from here, like meeting in Kadat to have an elder meeting. So the lead team will take care of daily business, but then the big issue is we're going to have a, a pretty uh, well-represented elder board. So it's just really cool. I love the innovation that, that God has just brought to this, you know. Um, well, let's just pray for these guys. Uh, Lauren, would you, uh, would you lead us in prayer? <coughs> Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this Christmas meal. We thank you for the outreach that's going to come through this. We ask your blessing upon all of them. We ask your guidance and your Holy Spirit to be the leader of each person's life that's uh, encompassed by this REACH campus, Lord. We ask for the unity of the body as well, that we are one church. It's not Eau Claire against Stanley. It's not an us-them. It's a we as Christians, as followers of Christ, Lord. And we just thank you for this opportunity to even be remotely part of this kind of outreach, this kind of glory and honor to you, Lord, that uh, we can't come up on our own. You created this, Lord. You gave us the people that would lead it. Uh, you gave vision and power to it, Lord. We just ask that that power continues to grow and just cannot be quenched by anything in this world, Lord. We just thank you so much for the opportunity to serve you in this way. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, we thank you for these men. We thank you for the, their love for you, the willingness to serve in the capacity that they are. Lord, we pray for this campus, that we would grow and reach out to many people that need you. Lord, I ask that you would be with each one of these guys as they leave the campus. I pray that the evil one would stay away from the doorstep as they uh, reach out to the people that really need you. 
thank you, Lord, for each one and bless their ministry as they move forward. Thank you, Jesus. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hold tight. Hold tight. Um, now, we have a mic here. <laughs> um, so I'm going to hand it to the preacher here. And uh, um, I'm going to give them a chance in just a minute to just uh, say anything that's on their heart. Whatever God has shown you, whatever excitement he's given you, whatever. Uh, but... Who, who's going to be involved in the REACH campus? Why don't you stand up? Okay, so we've got several people here. Okay, so, and back there, Cindy. Um, and she plays guitar. <laughs> um, okay, so here's what we're going to do. Congregation of God, anyone who feels like they want to pray for this congregation or a, a part of it, just pray out as God leads you. And as one congregation to the other, let's just bless them, okay? Mm -hmm. So go ahead, and Randy, if you'd lead us out, that would be great. Our Father, we thank you for your grace and mercy. We thank you for the opportunity to uh, promote you and your good news to a new campus. And these folks here, Lord, as they uh, lead and serve you, that it would draw others to you. So, Lord... Shine through each one here at the REACH campus for your glory, for your honor, and for the promotion of your gospel message to save the lost and to encourage the saints until you come again. Amen. Father, we do thank you and praise you, Lord. Um, you are mighty. You are at work in our world today, Father. Lord, we rebuke the devourer and the enemy who will in no doubt come to attack, I'm sure has already been. But Father, we thank you, even the cloud of witnesses that go before and that surround them now, Lord, that we would endeavor to remember to keep them lifted up in prayer, to plead the blood of Jesus over every work in this situation, God, and to, to just pray protection <coughs> over them. Father, I know that um, many of these and those that will come have been hurt by the church, mm. Lord. But you know how you say that we go through things, Father, that we can use that then to minister to others. I thank you, God, that you have handpicked each of these people, Father, to be there to minister to those that will come, Lord. And we pray, Father, that your spirit would draw them and that your work would be accomplished through these, your servants, in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, we also know that the devil likes to cause disunity, mm -hmm. and we pray for unity in, uh, here and in Eau Claire, that we together can, uh, as Christ says, he will build his church, and uh, they will know us by our love, and when there's disunity, there is no love. Mm -hmm. So help us to love one another, help us to be in unity with one another. Father God, I just thank you for this uh, new beginning with these folks. I just pray that you would continue to move amongst them, that you would continue to create the hunger in them to seek after you. Lord, I just pray your blessing upon all of these people in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Almighty Father, I pray that your Holy Spirit be with all these people as they move to the REACH campus and also here as we continue to build and for other campuses and other projects. Lord, make your, make your Holy Spirit their mighty ally, our mighty ally, that attracts more people that are looking and garners attention from those that are looking and hunting for you, Lord, that they see and connect with these people here and grow in you, Lord. Good and gracious God, I just, I pray that you be with each one of those leaders and that you will bless their families and may they be united in you. And God, I pray that the Eau Claire community will fill a sense of a new, a new creation in you. And God, that reach may be that beacon for those people who have been hurt, who are lost from their own congregations, and that they may find healing and rest in you through the leaders at reach. And God, I pray that you will just create a sense of unity between the Stanley and the Eau Claire campus and that we may be pointed towards you and that there will be no division, but we may 
seek after those who are lost and seek after those who are in need of using their gifts with love and with kindness and compassion and mercy like you have given us. Father, we pray these things in Jesus' name, and we uh, send these, these dear servants, these brothers and sisters, we send them in the name of Jesus for the glory of Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. You may be seated. Um, there's some, there's some uh, cool side notes that you'll hear about in the, the coming weeks at the uh, district uh, conference. Um, Dave and I were talking with the district supervisor of church planting, and so he's talking about uh, using Faith Free Stanley as a center for church planting in this region. So, you know, only God could think this up. Did anyone see this coming? I mean, I did. <laughs> so, uh, so anyway, I just wanted to turn it over to uh, to these guys. Anything that you have on your heart to, to share, go ahead and uh, let it rip. <laughs> Thank you guys for uh, allowing us to come here today, and uh, we really feel the spirit is moving, and uh, your hospitality. Um, my wife and I, my daughter Jocelyn, um, we're excited about this project that God has for all of us. Um, our, the Great Commission is to move, um, share Jesus' love with everyone. Nobody's excluded. And that's just on our hearts to to just share the love of Jesus through our acts, through our work, through um, our giving, our tithing, everything, our offering. Um, if I have two shoes and need a pair, I'll give them some too, okay? Um, I think of, well, the verse that keeps coming up all the time is, uh, is 1 John 4, 19, okay? Where it says, he, uh, we know how to love because he first loved us, okay? So, that is, that's why we're here, right? Yep. Amen. Yeah. So, that's where I'm at. So, <laughs> thank you. Thank you again. Well, we never thought we'd be here uh, three months ago, so this is really a kind of an all orchestrated by the Lord. Um, some of you know, but in uh, in April, our church that we've been part of for about nine years, um, pastor resigned, and um, literally we watched the church fall apart and uh, tried to help it, but it just got into other plans and kind of directed us in another way. And um, so we knew we knew Dave, and you know at the time we were looking for maybe a pastor for our church. So we last spring we, you and I talked in June. Or, I mean, junior, I don't know, time flies, but... Uh, I saw him first. <laughs> <laughs> so then we talked to Dave and said, hey, you know, we've got this church that's kind of falling apart, and, you know, I know you're, you know, you're in between opportunities as well, so maybe, you, you know, would you consider taking a look at pastor in our church? And so we kind of explored that a little bit. Well, and he, he said, well, you know, there's another church just a couple weeks ago that they're looking to start one in Eau Claire, and he, he explained it, and, uh, and that sounded intriguing, and our other door kind of closed with our other church, and uh, so we went through this door, and uh, so far it's been a good door, so <laughs> we're, we're excited to, uh, my wife Cindy and I, and we've got a couple friends with us too that are going to be part of Paul right here, uh, in the white shirt, and Mark, raise your hand Mark, there's Mark, and uh, Luann over here, she is part of our other church for a while. And uh, we've got some others too that are probably going to come as well, but want to see, you know, want to see it get started and all that first. So we're excited, and we just look forward to using our gifts as, as God. Because we just want to see people get saved, come to Christ, and then get disciples and grow and do their gifts for the glory of God. So that's, that's what we want to do. Amen. It was Mark's birthday yesterday, too. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I used to be really surprised when you saw God moving in unexpected ways because it was unexpected. <laughs> but when you start, I think, understanding more of 
the heart of the creator of the universe, the lover of men's souls, uh, whatever God deems good and possible is good and possible. And, and that's not just like a like a personal axiom. Like, oh, that's that's a good word for me. And that 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 is just true. And, and we just rely on, on what God has revealed as truth and has revealed of himself and has revealed of his love that we see poured out on the cross for us. Which moves us into freedom and victory and indwelling spirit. And, and I just look at what God is doing in the lives of people that are, are not okay with just like a religion and people that are not okay with just uh, a standard of attendance of a place, they're like, hey, you know, the, the, the thing that created the universe has taken up residence in me, I can't just sit here. Like Eric was saying, that the Great Commission causes you to move and do something. And, and so I'm so excited to be a part of people that, that, that see that in the scriptures, and they see that in the personal walk with God, and they see that in the corporateness of what God desires for his church. And, and there's a, a certain amount of unsettledness as they see all the people around them that, that are not that they don't have Jesus. And so as God is building his church and as God is bringing people together for his glory as well as for the salvation of people, like, this is so cool to see. And, and, and I wish I could be like, this is like the hundredth time I've seen this. Like, I've not seen God working and God moving like he is in ways that we couldn't orchestrate or manufacture. He's doing this in, in a way that, like, I've never seen before. And so, like, I'm just excited that I get to be a part of this. <laughs> Like when you start considering, you know, why did God choose me? I don't know. But it's for his glory and for the redemption of people. And so uh, I'm excited for continuity in ministry. Like so what you guys are doing here, we're doing it in, in a player. We're worshiping in spirit and truth and we're going out and we're sharing um, the, the hope of the light of Christ to people that are still in darkness. And we're building a foundation that is Christ. And if you build on anything else, what is it like building on? And shifting sand. And so I'm excited. Uh, again, for the people that are here this morning, uh, awesome. Thank you for being here to support through prayer, through giving, and the people that are stepping out in faith into something that, like, we don't own this. And we're just trusting in God that, that the place that we gather in will be there next week. <laughs> And, and that God will draw people unto himself and that, that people will come to saving grace and saving knowledge. And we're just, we're just trusting in that. And so thank you again. Thanks, Mike. Um, I almost want to sound like the, you know, for taking a chance on an unknown kid, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and, and for what you guys have, have, have done the work to do that we benefit from, and a lot of you know the story. Because um, all things be equal, this church might not be here outside of the, the faithfulness of, of Mike and the elders and the people that supported what God was doing in this place and wanting to do in this place. And so thank you for doing that, because we benefit from that. And, and I'm just excited to see how we get to celebrate together for what the kingdom is doing. We're talking about a couple different ways that we can have joint services, and so um, uh, so we're looking for ways like uh, maybe uh, special occasions, uh, Christmas, and something in the summer where we can meet on a neutral site and, and worship as one as, as one church with multiple congregations, and so that's going to be so fun. Mm -hmm. So if you have a good idea of somewhere in Kadat that we could uh, host this, maybe the park or something in the so summer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> or, and then uh, the place we're meeting is 29 Pines. They gave us an uh, unbelievable deal, 75 bucks a week. 
right? I mean, they pay the lights and the heat and plow and making signs for us, and they want to come to the church. Wow. It's unbelievable. Wow. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, God. <laughs> so, let me take the offering uh, now. This is an act of worship. And uh, those of you from the Reach Camp, 